they could think they could do this, the, that, the, the whatever. But do you really believe that they're going to let you in on what they're doing if they didn't let you in on something that could have been easily done by you, possibly? You see, that's what that's what you fail to understand because your intelligence. Let's, where, let's, where, just, let's, let's just keep it. Let's just keep it at. You shouldn't trust your partner, guy. You shouldn't do it. And you know what? That's exactly what I was going to get to because, to be completely honest with you, where I have his again, back. Again, more talking. Again, more talking. You don't get it. Where he might have my back and I might have his back, I don't trust anybody 100% in this business because make no mistake about it. My goal is the same as his goal, is to take that strap away from somebody like you. My goal is to be the World's Heavyweight Championship, excuse me, the World's Heavyweight Champion just like his is. So the way I might have his back, if it came down to it and the strap was on the line, I'm going to try to take that strap. And I would expect no less from Mark Static or anybody for that, for that matter. So you're right, I don't trust him 100%. And there's going to be times when Bobby people... Dream, Bobby Dream, I, I appreciate what you just said. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can I ask you the question that I was going to ask you in the beginning before you evaded my question? Uh, sure. What was it? How is it going to feel when you crawl out of the ring Saturday night and you realize that you are no longer the ECPW Long Island Champion? Bobby Dream, I wasn't even able to crawl out of the ring last time, and I still held the title. Lightning may strike twice, but it never strikes twice in the same place. Wow, Yet, man. <laughs> the event will be at the Shirley Bingo Hall. <laughs> yeah, and uh, let me tell you something, man, it's crazy. Yeah, this is okay. gonna be intense, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. This is nuts. What do you guys? Did, did we just leave our, our host speechless there? <laughs> man, you <laughs> do. It's pretty intense now, isn't it, man? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely did, uh, Robin. Uh, let me tell you something. Bobby Dream looks like he's uh, he's hungry. He's gonna come after you or Mark Static for that strap, brother. And uh, it's time will tell. There is so much anticipation for the ECPW Long Island Championship match this Saturday night. You could cut it with a knife. I can't wait to see what happens. Get your tickets now. Yeah, you heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. You'll get to see none other than Long Island ECPW champion. You know, Robbie Rebel in action. Greg the Hammer Valentine. You know, there's so much in, on this card. This is going to be one heck of a match, one heck of an event. You know, Rob, you have anything else, my friend? Nope, the deed was done. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I will right. I will be going, and I'm not going to say the F word again. All right, um, brother. You take care Bobby of those. Dream, it was a pleasure talking to you, I'll tell you that. And um, to all you at, uh, out there and uh, whoever's listening, uh, Hopefully I get to see you guys at 78 Rose Street at, um, this Saturday. Shirley Bingo Hall. See you Thank later, you. man. Take care of those freaks. Sweet dreams. Bye. Thanks, Rebel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. You know, Robbie Rebel, ECPW Long Island Division Champion. You know, with, uh, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby Dream, man. This is nuts. Papa Ganoush, you're stepping up to the mic. What do you guys say, my friend? I was going to continue what I was interrupting. Go for it. My PKP, Papa Canoosh picks. All right. Hey, you know what? Since Robbie Rebel just called Papa Canoosh, who do you think will win between Robbie Rebel, Lamar, Porter, and Mark Static in the three way for the ECPW Long Island Championship? Well, you see, this is kind of a wild card here. Let me take another look. Mark Static has got Angel Lopez, the Terminator of ECPW Wrestling. He's got a good chance. Robbie Rebel's been on a roll. He looks like the Dr. Seuss of ECPW. So if he eats his green eggs and ham, he should be good. Then we got Lamar Porter Steakhouse. Uh, I don't know. They all got a good chance. I'd say maybe a little on Mark Static because he's got his assistant at his side. He's got his wannabe Papa Canoosh at his side. 
But, you know, Ravi Rebel, he eats a lot of green eggs and hams. He should have that. And Lamar Porter, I don't know. Well, It'll be interesting. Papa Ganoush, we got another call that's what coming through. This? You know, that people are interrupting you. You know, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the lines and see who's on it. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, it's, it's JR. SJR, my friend. What's going on, brother? How are you doing tonight? Much. How are you doing? Uh, uh, all right. Good. All right, man. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, what's the outlook, you think, for your match on uh, Saturday night? First of all, why don't you tell us who your match is against on Saturday night? First of all, why are you interrupting Papa Canoosh? Uh-oh. Okay, first of all, Papa Douche, if you don't shut up, you won't make it to the next show. Second, uh, what, what are you gonna do? I'm versus Dickie Rods, one of the greatest wrestlers today in the wrestling. Right, now, now <laughs> I think it can go anyway, because Dickie, Dickie has been to the top of the mountain way way, way too many times, and he belongs there, because he's been in this business for about longer than anybody else here. Now, the one thing that I don't realize, Besides, all this talk about Bobby being the best and everything. Uh, Bobby, tell me something. What's your record in ECPW? Bobby, tell me something. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, 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 all right, here. First of all, it's a work, brother. And second of all, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Answer the question. I've got. I've got two wins. I've got one win against the guy. They call Boondocks and some weird guy named Spaz in a tag match that I did for charity out of the kindness of my heart. So I've got three W's that have any association whatsoever with ECPW Long Island. Two in the building that I will be on Saturday night, which is 78 McGraw Street. So I've got yes, two wins there. Shirley Go Hall, Shirley, New York, the hometown of SJR, which also happens to be a good memory to me because that was also the place where you lost your first match against me. And you keep calling that a fluke. Tell me why. Hey, you know what? I've never seen any footage of that anywhere on the internet. Haven't seen it on YouTube, haven't seen it on Facebook, never seen that anywhere. And, and uh, you know what? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> never you know seen what? it anywhere. I, ha I haven't seen it anywhere. And, and regardless, okay. mm -hmm. I have a winning record. You do not have a winning record. And let me ask you a question. What does SJR even stand for? Does he have a hospital record, maybe? SJR <laughs> stands for So Just Right. Because I don't have to prove anything to you or anybody else. So I am right. just right the way I am. Is that part of a sentence? That's not proper grammar. Is it a preposition? I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I don't understand what so SJR... Like, so Just Right? I've never said that in my life. Never said so just right. So just really? right. <laughs> Never said that. <laughs> well, <laughs> you I'm said just, it tonight, Bobby. You know, just so you know, brother. This, this will be one of the first times <laughs> I've, I've ever said it. I mean, I, I, you know, it's just very bizarre to me. So just right. Because oh, when man. I look at you, the only thing I can think is so just wrong. And Papa Canoosh, Papa Canoosh, what do you think SJR stands for, Papa Canoosh? Let's see what Papa Canoosh thinks. Papa Canoosh, what do you think SJR stands for? Come on now, Bob, I know you got, you're thinking about Slow that. jogging repetitively. All you do is jog slow repetitively, and that's all you'll ever be is at the same spot because you won't speed up. That's what your name stands for. That's Papa, can you shut that's up and do what you do and go make me a sandwich? Uh, first of all, I make pizza, and I won't make you a sandwich. The only thing I'll make you is a smack. Sure. Make him a BLT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Kind of like an ambient SJR. Puts you right to sleep, especially when he's rambling on the radio, making no sense. I'll give you this. You said the name of the building. That was cool. Yeah, but his Who's your opponent? <laughs> Without putting him over a million times. Who's your opponent? What are you going to do? Are you going to try to win or are you going to lay down? Let's hear it. Let's hear I what you're going to do, gonna brother. What you're going to do, brother, this Saturday night at 78 McGraw Street, dude. <laughs> He's going to miss Hulk his Hogan? taxi. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> Answer the question. What are you going to do? 
I'm going to do what I do best. He's going to wet them? Okay. Oh, man. <clears throat> hey, uh, SJR, you want to cut a quick promo for uh, Saturday's event or what? Go ahead, man. I don't need to cut a promo. You don't need to I cut a promo? I for... do most of the talking. Okay. You know what? Cut That's what Bobby the doesn't realize. Not only do I have skill in pro You don't want to cut a promo for an event that you're going to be at. Oh, I have skills in collegiate. You know what? Hold on. Shh. Bobby, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Saturday night, 78 McGraw Street, Shirley, New York, ECPW Long Island presents WWE Hall of Famer Greg the Hammer Valentine. And yours truly, beautiful Bobby Dream, will be in action kicking that behind. Whether it's Boondocks, or whether it's some weird guy named SJR who has absolutely no charisma at a Beautiful Bobby Dream, he's gonna get his hand raised. My name is Beautiful Bobby Dream. Get your tickets now. 15 bucks a pop. ECPW1.com. Bold is beautiful. Sweet dreams. That's how you do a promo, brother. Good night, man. We'll, we'll check you on Saturday, alright? Why don't you just hang up now, because... That was embarrassing. What? You don't want to even do it. What are you doing? This is one of your guys. It don't even matter, man. Actually, it does matter. Like, no, on. Let me tell you something, Tommy. It's, oh, no, it's my turn. Oh, go what ahead. What you don't happen to realize is you don't know a thing about actual wrestling. You've been in a cage match. I've seen that cage match on YouTube. But what did you practically do? Nothing. You don't know how to wrestle. You don't know a thing about what we do. We work day in and day out. Who have you? To do what who, we do. who is your primary trainer? That who, who have you been in the ring with that has trained yeah, you? Let's hear you? it. Let's hear it. I've been in the ring with Joe Sloan. No, Long trained Island, you. Cash. Trained you. Who is your I've trainer? No, with, not people that shook your hand. Who is your trainer? Named Bobby Dream. So, what? Who have you actually been in the ring with? Come on. Hmm? Who have you trained with? That's what I'm trying to hear. Who man. is your trainer? What is the? Who is your trainer? Who is your head trainer? Who is your coach? My coach is Bad Boy Rocky Shore. That is my trainer. And where did you train? I train at Ringside Pro Wrestling in Massive Beach. Anyway. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm proud of you. That was um, that was great. You, you, you did great. You said you said where you trained. You said who your trainer was. That was much better than the last time I was here. Because the last time I was here, someone trained there and was you know supposedly a trainer there. Kind of dropped a, a shit bomb on that guy. And you know what I mean. I don't I don't know if that was sorry about that. He dropped a pipe bomb on that guy. I don't know if that was appropriate. What you did right there, the 100 percent shoot. That's telling the truth. And for that, I can give you an ounce of respect. But saying that I don't know how to wrestle, I got no respect for anybody that says that about me. Because I've been in a ring with more than just the bad boy Rocky Shore. Okay? People I've been in the ring with, people too, to me, I'm not even going to name drop because I don't do anything like that because it's immature. But I was mm -hmm. training when you were in the fifth grade. Okay? You were in the fifth grade. So please, stop. I'm not shooting on you. I'm talking about your wrestling match Saturday night and what you're going to do. And I talked about what I was going to do. Let's keep it real. All right. Let's keep a it cool. A anyway, man, and, and for you to turn around and uh, try to put me out there, trust me, man, I'm the same way. I don't name drop, and uh, <laughs> there ain't nothing else more I have to even say to you because you're nothing but a green, and you'll always be a green for the next 10, 20 years. Until then, I can be a green. I'm okay with that. In case you haven't yeah. noticed, I wear green. Trust me, I, anyway. I'm a five star. You don't want a piece of this, brother. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Really, really, really. Well, if if you're wishing to have that, you just go to the other officials, and we'll see if we could do a nice uh, little dance ourselves one day. Until then, we'll see you. All right. Best of luck hey. against Dickie Rods. Hey, You're gonna lose. We'll see you. Bye bye. Bye. Make sure. <laughs> what right, are you gentlemen. doing? That was that crazy. That was your guy right there that you hung up on. What my guy? Who's my you guy? You are the goddamn commissioner of ECW. Listen, I have no guy in any of the, in the company at all. 
It's about me taking care of business. Plain and simple. That simple. That's it. Care of business, you, hung you know up what? On the man. No, you hung up on him. I didn't